Wedding events are special occasions that require a lot of planning. However, there are unforeseen circumstances like extreme weather venue issues or sudden health emergencies. Remember 2020 COVID? These things can cause cancellations to your event. This is where wedding events and event cancellation insurance comes in. How does event insurance work? Do you need cancellation insurance? What does it cover? To answer those questions and more, welcome insurance specialist, William Martinelli. Hi, I'm William Martinelli, head of U.S. reinsurance claims for an international reinsurance broker with 40 years of insurance experience. Listen now and discover wedding insider secrets for a stress-free, fun, and a memorable day. Our podcast helps engaged couples navigate wedding planning complexities while addressing family expectations. Get concise tips on budgeting, wedding party management, ceremony, reception planning, and more. Perfect for anyone planning a wedding all in 30 minutes or less. Welcome to Stress-Free Wedding Planning, the podcast that will transform your wedding planning journey from chaotic to enchanting. Sal and Sam bring over 80 years of combined wedding expertise and exclusive insider information to the table. If you're recently engaged, feeling the pressure of wedding planning, struggling with family expectations, but still dreaming of a joy-filled wedding, you've come to the right place. Get ready to unveil the best-kept wedding secrets, discover practical tips and strategies, and learn life-changing lessons for a stress-free wedding. Your unforgettable wedding day awaits. We're here to take you on a transformative journey of love, laughter, and memories. So don't miss out on the podcast that just might change your life. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Hi, I'm Sal of After Hours Events in New England. I've performed at thousands of weddings in my 40 years as a professional MC DJ. Weddings are my passion. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions. With decades of DJ experience dating back to the mid-70s, I've rocked the airwaves, pumped up nightclubs, and made thousands of weddings unforgettable. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Learn more about our experience and journey to help you with a stress-free wedding planning in the trailer or pilot of this podcast. And today's edition, Wedding Event Insurance with Will Martinelli, is brought to you in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Shows. But first, if you have a question or concern, go now to Facebook and join us on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community and ask away. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Welcome, Will Martinelli. It's nice of you to come and speak to us. Thank you for the invitation. Not a problem. Full disclosure that you're a longtime friend of mine and you you're not selling insurance today, right? Correct. I am not selling insurance. And you're not given specific financial or legal advice. Also correct. And you should see your independent insurance agent for specific circumstances. We're just going to talk generally about insurance today. What's your experience, Will, for our listeners? I have over 40 years of insurance experience in um, personal lines, commercial lines, and in the reinsurance industry. This entire episode is going to be about event liability and event cancellation insurance. And uh, I thought you were the man to explain that. So firstly, what is and what does event insurance do? How does it work? Special event insurance basically consists of three types of insurance or really wedding insurance, which is broken down between liability insurance and cancellation coverage. Liability insurance covers injuries including from serving alcohol, damage of vendors lost or stolen items, damage to others' properties, including the event space itself. Basically, it protects you from a responsibility for any accidents or injuries during the ceremony or the reception. And most venues will require you to have liability insurance. Cancellation coverage protects you when the event can't be held on that day for reasons out of your control. For example, it provides reimbursements for deposits made to vendors, the venue, caterer, band, photographer, or even the floors. If a couple is forced to cancel or postpone their wedding because of weather, unexpected illness to the bride, groom, or an immediate family member, military deployment, or other reasons beyond their control. However, it does not cover canceling an event over the fear of something happening. Although it's now 2023, you still should not assume your policy covers everything, particularly concerning COVID-19. You should always ask if it's included. Some insurers have evolved to interpreting COVID-19 coverage as a known event, and it's not likely to be covered at all. 
Also, because of the pandemic, many insurance companies have ceased writing this type of cancellation coverage at all. So there's less to choose from as far as carriers, but you definitely want to assume nothing and ask what you're purchasing. That's great information. So, Will, how much is special event insurance typically? You would probably break it out between liability or the cancellation coverage as two separate policies you're purchasing. Either probably would not exceed $150, and I think at the bare minimum, it could be around $75. Very affordable, so that's so, not so bad at all. Yeah, yeah. Everybody having a special event should have event insurance, correct? I would definitely say that it is worth protecting your investment for that little amount of money. It's it's definitely worth it. Right. So the payoff for the small amount that you invest is definitely worth it then, Will. Absolutely, Sam. My next question then, you said something about it doesn't cover COVID because it's a known event. Now, isn't that really why we need it? event insurance? Is that what the insurance companies are really saying is that we know that COVID is here and we know that you're going to get it? Exactly. And so because everyone knows that they're going to get it, it's now being interpreted as a known event and therefore they're excluding it. It should, everybody's going to get COVID, so they're not accepting it as, as a reason to cancel anymore. Wow. And what about weather? Is that something that they cover or not? Yes, weather events are still covered. At least we have that. <laughs> yeah. Does it cover your gifts and like your attire or clothes if they get damaged? That would fall under other events coverage. Um, you could design it to include events before and after the event, including damage to the wedding attire, jewelry, stolen or lost gifts, mishaps by the photographer, such as room negatives or have, having to restage the photos if the, you know, the photographer doesn't show up. Interesting. All right, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to ask Will about what event insurance doesn't cover. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam, a podcast for engaged couples concerned about wedding planning and family expectations, but who want to have a stress-free, fun, and unforgettable wedding. Wedding Tip Wednesday is brought to you by Emerge Cosmetics. Are you ready to emerge? Our line of lipsticks, lip glosses, and mascaras was created to empower and become who you truly are. Strong, beautiful, and confident. Use the coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com for an instant 10% off. That's coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com. Emerge is the true you. On today's Wedding Tip Wednesday, have a day between rehearsal and the wedding. What does this mean? Well, if you're getting married on a Friday, don't do your wedding rehearsal on a Thursday. Do it on a Wednesday. If you're getting married on a Saturday, don't do the rehearsal on Friday. Do it on Thursday. Spacing these two events out allows you to focus and not be distracted by last minute wedding preparations and plans. Plus, you just need a little time between things, a little buffer. You're not rushing into from one thing to the next thing. Give yourself some time to breathe. Put that buffer of a day in between the two events and you'll be eternally grateful. That's another tip from Sal and Sam. Wedding Tip Wednesday is available on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group page every Wednesday. Join the group for free. Are you planning your dream wedding and don't know where to start? Wedding Styles of Connecticut wedding shows are fun, interactive, informative, and have something for everyone. Our next event is at the brand new Bristol Event Center, Central Connecticut's newest premier luxury wedding venue, on Wednesday, October 25th from 6 to 9. You'll enjoy gourmet food samples, entertainment, amazing prizes, and free goodie bags. For more information or to reserve your free ticket, go to the Bristol Event Center Bridal Show.com. Do you want access to a stress free wedding planning process? Then go to our website, all the W's.atmosphere productions.com, and get my free report. Eight questions you must ask a wedding professional before booking them. Get it today. That's all the W's.atmosphere productions.com. Look for the free report and learn to shop like a pro from a pro and go from concern and worry to stress-free wedding planning. Don't know what to do for your first dance? Is your future spouse having trouble picking a song to dance with their parent? Worry no more. I have the answer. Go to afterhoursoventsofne.com forward slash contact guest. 
That is C-O-N-T-A-C-T-G-U-E-S-T. And you'll be able to listen to hours of music to help you select the right songs for your upcoming wedding. Again, go to AfterHoursEventsOfNE.com forward slash contact guest. I'm Andy Kane from Buy Like a Guy, the podcast with the tools guys need to buy an engagement ring or other diamond jewelry with confidence. And you're listening to Sal and Sam on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. You can listen online and download from iTunes, Google, Spotify, or wherever you get podcasts. And now back to the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. Welcome back to our discussion about wedding event insurance. Hi, I'm Sal from After Hours Events of New England, the leader in making your wedding stress-free. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions Weddings with expert knowledge and the difference in quality. Hi, I'm William Martinelli, head of U.S. reinsurance claims for an international reinsurance broker with 40 years of insurance experience. We've already discussed how event insurance works, how much on average it costs, and why you need it. Now, Will, the question is, what doesn't event insurance cover? Well, Sal, when you're using the term cancellation, one thing it doesn't include is choice. It doesn't cover the runaway bride or the groom backing out because that does not fall under the definition of cancellation. Also, cancellation or disruption of a flight or a cruise is not part of the wedding cancellation coverage. It's something you must buy through the airline or cruise line. And Will, would you suggest that our listeners check their own home insurance or auto insurance uh, policies? I would suggest they check their own homeowner's policies. There may be some overlap in coverage. Usually a homeowner's policy or even a renter's policy covers your belongings anywhere in the world. So uh, lost jewelry or lost gifts may also have overlapping coverage there. And is there a time frame that you should uh, buy this? Say, for instance, my wedding is in two weeks. Uh, is there any limit when you should buy this? You would buy it to pick up coverage 48 hours before the event. Okay, so that's the latest you could possibly do it. It will cover 48 hours of the event. The sooner you do it, the sooner you know what you're buying. Ah, I got you. I got you. So finally, well, is this something that is definitely needed? Is it an investment? What would your professional opinion be? My professional opinion is you're protecting your investment of the wedding. Um, so the, the investing in this type of insurance always outweighs the need. So in roundabout terms, you're saying you better get it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it only makes sense. It really does. It just totally makes sense. Well, how do you go about getting this insurance? Mostly do it through an internet search and you'll find brokers that are offering it. Do like your, your regular home owners uh, company, I'm not going to mention any names, but would they do it or is this is like a specialty item? This is a specialty item. When you do an internet search, you'll find companies that are offering specifically this type of coverage. Well, we've been speaking to Will Martinelli with over 40 years of experience in the insurance industry. Thank you very much, Will, for all your insight on uh, event insurance. You're welcome. Well, well, I want to thank you for all your help. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. This is some great advice you gave here. I truly believe every couple should buy purchase some type of insurance for the wedding. It, it is definitely needed. Uh, so often couples end up at the short end of the stick because they didn't protect themselves. And I want to thank you for coming on the show. Greatly appreciate it again. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can have you back on some other time. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. So there you have it. We just shared with you all about wedding event insurance with William Martinelli, an insurance executive with over 40 years experience and answered your questions on how wedding event insurance works. Do you need it? Do you need a cancellation insurance? And what doesn't it cover? Now, as you spend the next week planning your wedding, if you want me, Sam, or our community of stress-free, engaged couples and wedding experts to answer any wedding-related questions, join us over in the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group. Once you're in, go ahead and share your concerns and worries, and we'll let you know if you're on the right track or if there's something we need to work on. The link to join us is in the show notes of this edition or... Go to Facebook and search for the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community. A new edition is released every Wednesday. Subscribe and get it first. Remember to do something nice for someone today. And if you can't, do something nice for yourself. 
We'll catch you then. Ciao. Thank you for listening to this edition. If you've enjoyed what you've just heard, leave a review and share it with a friend or someone who would benefit from this information. Until next time, it's TTFN. Ta-ta for now. The Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast is produced and copyrighted by Atmosphere Productions in association with After Hours Events of New England. Sponsored in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Show Series.